Little white APC. And all these Paper UK here. Take three. Which is annoying because I'm actually smoking what I wanted to talk about. But anyway, before I tell you what's in the pipe, I'm smoking the Savinelli 320 Oceano. So you know what's in there is Latica here. Had a bit of a double yabo today. And one is from Beads Pipes and Life. And the other one is from Bulldog Piper. And um, we were chatting the other day and we were sort of talking about uh, flakes and sort of Latakia blends. And um, obviously they both must have had the, the same idea because um, I was very lucky to get some samples of the 1820 flake. Also some of the 1820s of the Shag Cut. And I got some special Latakia Flake. And Bulldog Piper pulled a bit of a surprise on us because um, inside the packet was also this Cobbett Missouri Meersham Church Warden Corn Cob. And um, I was looking at these a while ago. I was looking at how to get one. And when I was talking about it to Karen, she's really over the moon, by the way. So thanks a lot for this because she's been trying to find a one for us to get. And obviously, she doesn't really know where to look. So oh, she didn't succeed, luckily. <laughs> um, so. Obviously, she didn't want to say to me, oh, you know, where where can you get those pipes? Because I am I'm notorious for sussing things out and uh, I want to get surprised pretty hard. But, um, yeah, this was a big surprise. And Karen's over the moon because, obviously, I've been able to get one for my birthday. So I'm going to keep this for Monday before I smoke it. So, yes, what is in the 320? is the Germain's 1820 flake and I have to say it tastes yummy I think if you're breaking into Latakia, it's probably a good one to try because it's not too overpowering. It's not like the Artisan blend where it's a, a total Latakia bomb. Um, I mean, that I would sort of put in the family with Pirate Cake, Ten Russians, that type of thing. Um, whereas this one, it was a bit, bit heavier on the Latakia than the early morning pipes, so... Maybe the nightcap. It's been a while since I've had that. So, um, so yeah, I think this is a good entry if you're wanting to look into trying Latakia so it doesn't really sort of blow your head off. Man Cave Piper brought a pouch over to sort of try it. And... Um, he ended up leaving the pouch and we did a trade because I was really surprised at how nice this was and I absolutely demolished that pouch and I literally made a grab for it first thing on the morning it was my morning smoke until it was literally gone absolutely really enjoyed it
So this is one that's definitely going to be on my rotation list. I've already been thinking about replacing the Pyro Cake with the Artisans Blend because again, it's just as strong. Um, I can actually get a 75% Latakia Blend from the Tobacconists, which is um, in a loose form, so I can order as much as I like, and that's just as strong as Pyro Cake. So again, it's, it's not really worth running the risk on getting something sent over and getting caught in customs when the sort of other blends I could try and keep such as the strong Latakia bombs for ones that's local. But um, yeah, it's I'm definitely finding there's a lot more sort of home tobaccos than um, running the risk and getting stuff from abroad. Because to be quite honest with you, I mean, unless you're buying a big, a big bulk load, it's not really working out that that much cheaper, really. Um, I mean, I maybe just order five tins at a time, so it probably works out you get one tin for free, depending on the price. Um, but again, if you go with bigger orders, you run the risk of getting a card and getting a hefty charge to get it in the country. So again, it's, you know, you have to have a bit of a think about that one. So yeah, thanks a lot guys, I really do appreciate this and uh, thanks a lot for giving us a chance to uh, giving this a try. I've got a bit of a different ca camera angle. I've gone back to my original clamp. Um, I've had a bit of a, a bit of a change around in here today. I'll just show you. I've got my pipe rack on the wall. I've brought the pipe rest ashtray up from up from the garage because obviously summer I'm spending more time up here than I am in the garage anyway, so it doesn't seem much point. Um, I've popped the table in the in the other corner, so having a bit of play around in here, and uh, might all change again. I might might go back to the tripod. I'm not too sure about this set up because with the window being there it's getting a bit of a bit of a glare and I think it's chewing on a little bit to try and combat that so I'll have to have a rethink. This is good stuff. It's a nice taste on your tongue. It's not too harsh or bitter, like such as the um, stronger ones. It's got a really nice smooth, nice smooth taste to it. A lovely retro hell. It's almost like a nice chocolatey, chocolatey taste to it. Pouch note got a thumbs up from Karen, which is always a good sign. But yet, like I say, yet again, she loves Latakia, so that's probably one of the reasons why I do tend to stick with these a lot. Because at the end of the day, we have to keep our other halves happy as well. You know, it's not not nice for them if we smoke on something that's pretty, pretty stinky. But.
you like EMP, get yourself some of this and try it. See what you think, let us know what you think. Do you know when you have a bowl of tobacco and you sit back and you just know that you're going to really enjoy it? That's this. Well, I'm going to sit back and definitely enjoy this. Well, guys, thank you so much for this. Really appreciate it. You spoiled us. And um, I'm looking forward to trying the others. I'll do a, a, a more in-depth review of this once. Because um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this and I'm going to try the shag cut as well and get an idea. So I'll do a, an overall review at the end and um, see what I think because I know a lot of people tend to say that the flake's nicer than the shag cut and vice versa so I'll sort of do my opinion on it but um, again over the moon with the pipe and one happy wife because she was a bit sort of panicking because she did want to get it for us so you've saved her on that one so I hope wherever you are you're having a great weekend I hope that you're, you're safe, you're happy, and you're well. You're enjoying a bowl. I hope you're smoking a bowl while you're watching this. It's always nice to think that you are sharing a bowl with somebody. And um, I will see you all again very soon. Bye for now.